Good Monday morning. I hope you had a wonderful weekend full of joy and happiness, spending time with people that you love. Last week, we heard a story about Lady Wisdom in the Proverbs, Proverbs 8, or Proverbs 9, 1 through 8. And we heard about Lady Wisdom or Wisdom going out into the town and inviting people to a banquet. She had her servants and her housemaids and everyone working on this banquet probably for days. She has set out the table absolutely beautiful and the meal is ready. And she, instead of inviting all the most important people in town, you know, the mayor and, and the council and everyone, she goes out into the town and she invites everyone who has nothing. Not only do they not have money, they don't have a place to live, and they have no family anymore. We really don't know all the circumstances, but I think you can imagine feeling that destitute, unloved, and uncared for. So wisdom begins to care for them. Now today is Monday, and we're in Proverbs 9, verses 7 through 12. Today's Monday, March 15th, 2021. If you reason with an arrogant cynic, you'll get slapped in the face. Come confront bad behavior and you'll get kicked in the shins. So don't waste your time on the scoffer. All you'll get for your pain is abuse. But if you correct those who care about life. That's different. They'll love you for it. Save your breath for the wise. You'll be wiser for it. Skilled living gets its start in the fear of God. Insight into life from knowing a holy God. It's through me, wisdom, that your life depends and the years of your life ripen. Live wisely and wisdom will permeate your life. Mock life, and life will mock you. That was Lady Wisdom's advice to all the people who came to her banquet. I hope you wrote down some key words today because this has wonderful implications in our society today welcoming those people in, and saving your breath for the wise. You ever talk and talk and talk and whew, whew, it just rolls off. People don't hear you in a way that you hope they would. You know, I think that happens to all of us sometimes, doesn't it? And it's frustrating. So it's important when we speak to people to be wise about what we say. Sometimes it's best to rehearse it a little bit with someone in your family, someone who knows you and loves you. Say it out loud. Say it out loud. And then when you get comfortable saying what you need to say to somebody to help them change their life, it will be more than natural just sharing wisdom with them. Wisdom. Mm. Wouldn't you love to have that name? <laughs> I have never met a person named Wisdom, but I have met many, many wise people. So I, I want you to imagine knowing that you could help someone and improve their life if they would just listen to the information that you'd like to share. They could find happiness and a sense of peace. You know they can, because you found it yourself. But alas, everything you try, everything you say, falls on deaf ears. Ugh. Frustrating, isn't it? But imagine that happening to you. I'm sure you can. In fact, you may have just thought of something that has gone on in your life, you know, like 
don't throw your coat on the ground <laughs> to your kids every day they come home from school. Uh, wisdom, but more than just not throwing your coat on the ground, but life lessons that people can hold on to. So as an activity, I want you to think about what scares you the most in this story. If you put yourself in the story, where would you like to be? Kind of make a list of the things that are the most important to you and to where you're living now and what you have now. What are the things that you really don't ever want to go without? And then our action today. Are there any things that you listed that make you a little nervous? That perhaps it could be a reality? That you could lose these things? Listen to the words of wisdom. Listen to the people that are your elders. And I'll tell you what, I've had somebody share with me who is much younger than I. And her words still ring true in my mind. So listen to the wisdom of other people. Sometimes we have to sort it through after they've shared it with us. But they may have really important um, wisdom that will permeate your life, that will jumpstart you again with joy or with a drive to do something again that you had pushed aside. Wisdom. And then our focus verse is live wisely, live wisely, and wisdom will permeate your life. Live wisely, and wisdom will permeate your life. Mock life and life will mock you. Mm. Terrifying, isn't it? Mock life, and life will mock you. It seems like some people get in a downward spiral, and they just cannot recover from it. But you know, you might be the voice of wisdom today. You might have words to impart to someone who is in that flat spin and really needs to hear some wisdom today and some good news. Thank you for joining me today. You are welcome to find our Sunday services, First United Methodist Church in Safford, on our webpage, or on YouTube, Pastor Corby, or on my you, um, Facebook. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow and It'll be a great continuation of wisdom. God bless.